the reason why mathematical models are so useful in these contexts is that it's hard to do the experiments with these populations. We have only one population. Uh, we, we, we simply can't do experiments, so we have to create artificial worlds in the computer uh, using mathematics and computer simulations to try to figure out what would happen under different scenarios. So for example, how do humans create land use changes that affect endangered species and endangered ecosystems? Or another example is uh, vaccines. How do human vaccine choices influence disease levels in the population. You might want to use a mathematical model to, to figure out what is the critical uh, community size that's required to sustain a population, or you might want to figure out how high the vaccine coverage needs to be to eliminate the disease entirely. The human environment uh, aspect is very important because if humans influence the environment, and the environment influences human, then it really makes sense to speak of one single coupled human environment system rather than two separate systems. And so I'm really interested in creating mathematical models that can capture this coupling, this, this single system, and how we interact with our environment and how it affects us. One of the things I'm particularly interested in is new data sources. We have a lot of online social media nowadays. We have Twitter, Facebook, we have web pages. And this is really a, a massive treasure trove of potential data. So this has been compared to the uh, invention of the microscope uh, several centuries ago, which completely opened up a new world of microbiology. And in the same way, we now have enormous amounts of data that we can hopefully analyze and learn something about human behavioral patterns, and particularly how they respond to uh, their environment. So we need mathematics to help us interpret what's happening create a framework that explains it and helps us understand it better.